he went to Abu Bakr, and together they left Mecca and hid in a nearby mountain cave. him hours ago on his way out of town. That's impossible! Ah. Where is he? One hundred camels to the man who finds him! Go! Ah. Ah. I'm sure. In a few hours, your hundred camels will be mine. see any footprints. Oh, he's in there. There's no way he could have gotten in here without breaking up this web or this nest. You fool! Later that night, before leaving for Yathra, the Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, looked down on Mecca. It was a city filled with memories for him, where his children were born, where his wife had died. He said, Of all God's earth, thou art the dearest place unto me, and the nearest unto God. And had not my people driven me out, I would not have left thee. No man can survive this long in the desert. Maybe the reports are wrong. Maybe he was caught after all. He wasn't captured. And he will be here. He is coming! The prophet is coming! For the first time, we were able to worship without fear. The days were long and filled with hard work. But oh, we were happy. Now be good, Huda. Mind your teacher. Come on, Hadi. I'm gonna stay here and help Papa and Malik build the mosque. After your lesson. The prophet says you must learn to read. Lessons first. Oh. Please, do plenty 
upon its people. Incredible. Can I go to the mosque now? You may hide here. And be 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 ill. Bestow. Oh. Bestow plenty. For my children's teacher. It's beautiful. Messenger of God. Let me carry that. You're the prophet. It's time for you to take a rest. The prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, taught us that all Muslims were brothers and sisters, one community standing shoulder to shoulder in prayer. And he wrote a document declaring all people in Yathrib would live as equals, in peace, regardless of race or religion. Allahu Akbar. Allahu what is it? Akbar. He's calling us to prayer. Allahu Akbar. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa Allah. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa Allah. Mama, are we the happiest people who ever lived? <laughs> what do you think? Think? Yes, because... Yathrib was renamed the city of the prophet, El Medina. Ah, that's it. Everything the Muslims left behind has been accounted for. Good. We'll take it all on our caravan to Damascus and trade every last scrap of it. It belongs to us now. They have taken all our possessions. And after they sell them in Damascus, they'll be on their way back to Mecca with baskets full of gold. They continue to cut off trade to us. And we are starving again. Oh, messenger of God, I know you hate violence, but... And then the prophet, peace and blessing upon him, said, We will go out and meet the caravan and take back what is ours. Muhammad has left Medina with 300 men to take this caravan. Ride to Mecca. Tell them to send an army as fast as they can to protect these riches. <laughs> Turn here and take the sea route back home. Our army leaves this morning, and you are going to fight in my place. I won't do it. Fight for me, and I'll consider your debt pay. Refuse, and I'll kill you here on the spot. But I, uh... uh... <clears throat> Assist! Finally. Abu Jahl is just two days' march from the Muslim camp. Tell him I'm out of danger and to turn back. But he has them outnumbered. Three to one. Not good enough. Not against Muhammad. Tell him to turn back to Mecca. By all the gods, I have not come this far to turn back. No, not until Muhammad is 